Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to explain how you can add an index entry to a document and how you can add a table of tables, i.e. which page are your tables on. So first of all, I'm going to get some text on the screen, so I'll just type intro and press F3 because I've got some auto text there. So that's just a paragraph there. Now to actually get the index reference, you need to select the items that you want to appear in the index. So I'll go to references at the top there. This is where you need to go, index entry. If I click on that, basically this box opened and you need to make sure that this is set to alphabetical index, which it is. And then when you double click on a word, you can insert that word and then that will be part of the entry. And you just basically go through this document, clicking on insert, and you can refresh it if you want so it shows you the word you've just selected. But if I just do three or four, you can see how this works. I'll just do one on a different line. Um, people. Insert. So I'll just refresh that. So that's picked it up. So I did four entries there. Close this. And then you come down. So this would be the last page, say. Now you need to insert it. So you go to Table of Contents, this option. And you select that option alphabetical index and then everything you can do now is to do with that so if i just click ok you'll see how it's going to sit in there at the bottom of the document so everything's on page one which is great if anything changes you've got this option to update index so if these things go onto a different page you can do that now in terms of tables or pictures or images what you can do if i just insert a table so just go insert i'll do a couple of tables one there, just come down below it, back a bit more space and do another table. So insert table, not that big. So I've got two tables there. What you need to do is put a caption on this and, and then you can use that caption reference to display what page it's on. Now obviously everything is going to be on page one as you can see there. But if I just go into this table and then up to the insert menu, you've got caption. Now if I just click away for a second, if I click away, and go to the insert option you see it's grayed out there you do have to be in the table in the table and then insert caption and then you can just give it a title so i'll just put steve for that it's gonna it's a category as a table which is what it is but you can see there you've got other options illustration text drawing figure i want it on table but the same principle would apply what i'm doing now click ok to that and then on this one i'll do another one so insert caption and I'll call this Dave or whatever you want to call it. Click OK. So now we've got two captions giving the tables a name. So if I come down here under this list, I can then go back to references and table of contents. Same box comes up. But now I want a different option. So I just did that one. So we've got a table of figures, an index of tables. That's the one I want. Click on that and categories tables and then I click OK and it should give me the reference to those two tables. So the principle is the same for everything. Index, you need to mark the indexes, the entries that you want to appear in this list and it's an alphabetical index. And then the table of contents for wherever the tables are. Same would be for images and if you wanted a table of contents at the top of a document, which I've done another video on, you basically have to make sure you select uh, heading styles before you can do that. So you need to make sure you're picking a heading style. So, so that's huge, but that's a, that's a heading style. And then if you wanted the table of contents, that would normally go at the top. I'll just give myself a space. Same, same thing, table of contents. But this time it is the table of contents I want and the table of contents is selected there. Same list of items and click OK and then it should give me the table of contents there. Go for that heading to table of contents. I just need to go back to references to update. Then it's picked it up so you can see it's on page one. So that's basically using references in LibreOffice Writer. Hopefully this has been of use for you and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for your time.